Now that we have a basic bootstrap implementation for a good looking UI, let us now create the listing of galleries and also a form through which I can add a new gallery. Let's go to our sublime text and now I'll open up the view gallery.blade. Now this is where I'll be doing the listing. So let's quickly create a markup. I'll say div row and in that I'll have a two column layout div call md8 and in this I'll be doing the listing so for now let's say listing will go here okay. and the second row will have a small form through which we can add a new gallery so this will be div call md4 I'll create a form class form uh, the method will be obviously post and the action will be URL gallery slash save now if you have not seen the first part basically I have already set up my routes where the gallery slash list is the current you know, view and gallery slash save will be where I will be doing the save of the new gallery so that's the URL let me open up the form now with Laravel 5.1 or rather level 5 we have a CSRF token validation on every post so I'll have to create a hidden text field which is name will be underscore token and the value will be CSRF underscore token function right now I'll create a form group this will be type text name will be gallery name and placeholder will be name of the gallery all right and last I'll have a button which will say save let's give it a class button button primary and yeah that should be enough right refresh so we have the text listing will come here we will fix that out quite very quickly and we have a form with name gallery and if I hit the save I'm going to the save URL fine let's go to our controller from the gallery controller this is the save gallery method handler so I have a model for the gallery which is very simple I have done nothing to it just protected dollar table equals gallery that's the only line which I have written and so what I will do is in the save function I'll say dollar gallery equals new gallery I need to mention that so app slash gallery right and then I'll do the save so I'll say dollar gallery name equals what is the name of the favorites gallery underscore name right so dollar request input the rest of the parameters are almost hard coded I have if you see the mi migration or even the table let's go to SQLite I have name created by published that's it so these are the only three things which I need to save so I'll say gallery created and let's go by for now let's hard code the UID and gallery sorry, published equals one as well to the save right and I'll say return redirect back okay so saving the gallery 
we are returning the user back inside our view let's introduce a new variable galleries equals new sorry equals gallery all right it will give me all the galleries which are saved in the database if there are any so galleries right okay there's something wrong I guess yeah got it my mistake yeah now the alignment is correct so now it's a good visual indicator actually I have indentation on save so it does a good job basically uh, so yeah I'm fetching the galleries I'm passing it to the view and now I can handle that here right so first thing is we need to check whether there are any gallery in the database or not so I'll say if dollar galleries GLA count and if it is say zero and if so otherwise we don't show anything in that column and then that I have a table class as table table uh, striped table bordered table spawn set all right this is done I'll have a t head send like tr th to right uh, the rest can be fine. T body inside the TR TD to two. All right, I'll have a loop here which is at the rate for each galleries as dollar gallery and for each. So I'm getting the gallery object, so this will come as dollar gallery name right and for now let's type view here okay so we're checking if there are any galleries and then we bring view name should be good enough all right now let's create few galleries as a family the family is coming I'll say office picnic what else personal picks yeah so there are three galleries let's quickly add class info so that we have a colored header yes that's done now it's time to work on the view link and the individual listing as well right in the controller this is the URL uh, I mean this is the function which will handle it if you go to route you'll see I have get gallery slash view and the ID right so what will happen is I'll get this variable as a parameter in this controller which is dollar ID so what I can do directly is I'll say dollar gallery equals gallery find or fail dollar ID and then if I will return a view which I'll create in a bit say gallery dot gallery dash view I will pass it gallery the variable gallery All right let's quickly create the view it will be inside resources views gallery gallery dash view dot plate dot php right and in that I'll just say extends master rendered section which is content section dev go okay and in this I'll have gallery 
name. I will create one more row and in this I'll have href. Uh, what can we do? We'll say URL gallery slash list back your class btn btn primary. All right, so we will sh for now just show the name of the gallery and have a back button. This is the controller. Now let's say view slash one and we are hitting the database we are finding a gallery with id 1 and so we are fetching it but for some reason say if i say gallery 9 which is not in the database no query results for model app gallery all right so the find or fail is basically throwing an error if i just do find and see it gets trying to get property of non object instead this is a beautiful method find or fail gives me the exception all right, so coming back now the view link we need to create. So let's quickly go into gallery href and have URL gallery slash view slash dollar gallery ID view and that's it. So click on family. I go to family office picnic right and personal pics yeah that's about it for this tutorial in the next one i'll add some basic validations to this gallery like you know checking whether the gallery already exists or not you know, whether the string is empty or not things like that